on the way to the ring, accompanied by Ric Flair, at a combined weight of 540 pounds, the Animal Batista, and the Viper, Randy Orton. Stay with us. We've got a huge tag team match coming up. And both these teams come into tonight looking to make a statement, which means we might see these two teams do things we've never seen them do in the past. is seemingly endless. Styles a true global superstar before arriving in WWE, but since he's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker. And their Phenomenal. First, from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Phenomenal AJ Styles. Yeah, it's crazy to think that when AJ Styles made his debut at the Royal Rumble a couple years ago, he wondered if he would even fit into WWE. But obviously he has done more than just fit in. He has excelled at this level. One of the toughest individuals I have ever seen compete in a WWE... and he's got the substance to back it up. AJ Styles got him there. This is it, tag team action now. Underway here, guys. These superstars are about to put on a clinic in tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. I think there's a good chance we'll be seeing a painful Batista bomb tonight. Painful would be putting it lightly. Devastating is more accurate. AJ 
Styles with the offense. He's taking some offense. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount the offense soon. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. Everybody remembers their first big match, guys. And for Bobby Roode, his first time on the main roster came in August of 2017 when he made his glorious SmackDown debut, defeating Aiden English. He slams him down with authority. He's not looking good here. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. He needs a breather in a bad way right now. If he could just make it to his corner and make the tag. Bobby Roode's SmackDown debut was undoubtedly glorious, as Corey mentioned. And his post-match comments that night, I think, went a long way in letting us know what type of person he really is. Definitely no shortage of confidence, Michael. Roode told Renee Young that he is big box office. And you know what? So far, he's been right. And he escapes this submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. When Batista returned to WWE in 2014, he brought with him a new repertoire of attacks and evasions. Corey, how does mixed martial arts impact someone's matches? Hold strikes, establishing control, already part of the superstar's DNA cult. Adding proficiency in mixed martial arts makes Batista a more complete competitor. It made the animal even more vicious. Talking about Batista's MMA training being incorporated into his offense for WWE competition also speaks to the evolution of the sports entertainment competitor. Byron, share with us your thoughts. Ouch. Michael, I don't think the already dominant Batista even needed any more offensive tools. But I completely agree. At 6'6", 290, the fourth... AJ Styles, guys, he's setting up for something here. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Game, set, match, this one is over. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Uh oh AJ Styles may have nothing quite like the phenomenal forearm. Guys, let's go to the replay. Yeah, I definitely need to see that again. He's got him covered. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. They did it! They won the match! Here's a few clips from the last match for us. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. The shoulders were down for three, and this one's in the books. Talk about making your presence felt in the match. Wow, what a win. And it's matches like this one that make SmackDown such a success. Thank you so much for joining us.